So we're going to be doing student checkup Excel 3-2 and in order to do that we need to start with student, ex, uh, student checkup Excel 3-1. So I have that open right now. I'm going to go ahead and save it as student, uh, my initial student checkup Excel 3-2. Okay, so I'm on the restaurant revenue tab here. So you can see that's my tab that I have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down to that uh, sheet, that sheet right there, the tab, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select move or copy and I'm going to move it to the end. I'm going to uh, click the create a copy button and I'm actually uh, going to click OK on that. So there we go. We see here that it, this one's the old one right there, this one's the new one and I'm going to rename that sheet by right clicking, clicking rename. I'm going to rename that sheet net income. Okay, so there's my new sheet. So these are identical right now, but, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create some new calculations here on this new sheet, on this net income sheet, and uh, to calculate the, some net income figures. In order to do that I need to start with uh, I need to select rows 15 through uh, 50 it says here in the book really I don't think I need necessarily need to select that many I just need to select a bunch of rows and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete these rows. I'm going to get go ahead and delete those rows so they're all cleared out what was in them before and then I need to um, go ahead and start on some new rows. So I'm going to start here in A14 and go down. I'm going to um, type some new categories or some new things I'm going to use for calculations. So I just found a problem that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix this. So there is a hidden row here. I'm going to go ahead and unhide that. For some reason, I used a version of the sheet that had this corn on the cob here. So there it is. So I have it there. I just had to make an adjustment at the beginning. And I'll, I'll put this here at the beginning of the video. I'll copy it over. So what we need to do at the very beginning is we need to make sure to unhide that row that we're working with there and start from there. So we've got a hidden, hidden row in. Uh, row number eight's hidden. So we just need to make sure to unhide that and we should be good to go with the rest of everything. So there we go, so I have my new categories. At the very top here is expense categories, and these are my expense categories. I'm gonna have total expenses at the bottom, and then, I, then I'm gonna skip row 21, right, and go to A22 here and put net income. So I'm gonna go ahead and select starting at expense categories right here. I'm gonna select all the way down through uh, H20. So it's gonna be this, this selection right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit my control key here and then select the net income row as well. And then I'm going to apply uh, all borders on this. So that's up here. I can go to my borders here on my home tab in my font uh, area there. And I'm going to go to all borders. Go ahead and click on that, select that. So now I have all borders here on that. I'm going to select B14 through H14. So I'm going to select the top row here for my expense categories. And then I'm going to click merge across up here where merge and center is. I'm going to click that down arrow and click merge across. So that's going to be my merge across there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a fill color here and that fill color needs to be white background one darker 25 so right there select that and that's going to be my fill color I'm going to go ahead and select from rent all the way down to total expenses here this these cells cell a22 that means I'm going to have to hit my control key again hold it down while I select net income and then all of those are going to be selected. I'm going to apply the same shading here. So it's already selected on there. 
I could go look for it again, but it's already on there, so I'm going to go ahead and just select that. And I'm going to look for cell K4. It's going to be up here, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and type in there estimated expenses. And in that, I'm going to go ahead and edit estimated expenses uh, percent. I'm going to put in that right there. Make sure that it is left aligned. I'm going to select cells K4 through L4, just these two. Then I'm going to do a merge and center. And then I'm going to change my cell size there so it fits in, right? So K is going to get larger. I'm going to make K larger to fit the text in. And uh, so it fits right in there. K5, I'm going to type in rent. I can go ahead and go down through the rest of this. This is going to be payroll. My percentages for rent is going to be 13%. I'm going to go ahead and type all the percentages in here. So for all these, I'm going to make sure that they are bold. I'm going to make sure that they are 12 size font. And for the percentages, specifically, I'm going to make sure that they are all center aligned. I'm also going to be selecting these all, and I'm going to need to do uh, all borders on all on that as well. Now I'm going to go back down here to the, to the little table that I created here and I'm going to uh, type out, I'm going to create some functions or some, some equations. I'm going to put them in the cell. First one's going to be B15. It actually tells me the equation that I'm going to create here is B12 times, which is the star key. I'm going to put my dollar sign L dollar sign five on there. So that's going to be my equation. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I can go ahead and paste it down here. And I'm going to change my equation. So each one so uh, that I'm going to do here is going to be a different row. So this is going to be L6. It's going to be L7. And the very bottom one here is going to be uh, an auto sum of all these. So now we're down here in net income, and we're going to go ahead and calculate net income by saying equals uh, B12, which is uh, this cell right here, minus B20, which is uh, right down here. So uh, we can type that in, or we can go. Uh, as, as we type, we can actually select the cells, which we'll put those in as well, and go ahead and hit enter, and there's our net income. So now, what we need to do to autofill, we can go ahead and select B15 through 22, and grab that autofill handle down here at the bottom, at the bottom right, so I, you can see that my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit, see down here, at B22 I can select and then, then it's the dark, uh, the, the black plus sign. So that's my autofill. I can go ahead and left click on that and then drag it across all the way to the end here and then release it. And it will go ahead and autofill all the numbers calculating all of the net income amounts and expenses for me based on the percentages that I have up here, right? So right up above uh, me, the percentages that I have with all the equations and all, all the data, of course, up here above for the different sales for different items. So, so that's what that is. Uh, I can click on the, what it wants me to do here in the book is it's going to uh, have me click on the show formulas page and I can see all the formulas here down below laid out. And I'll click on that again to hide it. I'm going to select uh, B22 through H22. So that's going to be right down here at the bottom. Go ahead and apply a fill color for that. It's going to be the same as above. I'm going to make sure it's bold. I'm going to resize my font to 14. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add a new sheet. So I'm back up a little bit here. So here's my old sheet. So I, I can go ahead and double click on G here to it. It was not right there when it does all of those um, hashtag or pound signs, right? Uh, depending on what generation you're from. So we can 
uh, go ahead and go over up to column G and double click right here on the right side of column G and it will resize auto resize for us so that looks good now what we want to do on step 39 is we're going to add a new worksheet in so I'm going to go down here to the new worksheet button right there with the the, the plus with the circle around it and click on that and I have a new worksheet that shows up I'm going to rename that new worksheet payment I'm going to go up to a1 and I'm going to start entering the data in that it tells us to enter. I'm going to go ahead and select both the A1 and B1 there, and then I'm going to merge and center that. I'm going to do the format as a heading on that one there. So I'm going to do that by going to the cell styles here, and then I'm going to go down to heading on that. I'm going to scooch over A here a little bit so it so that all the data shows. So that's the top and then I'm going to go to A2 here and type in that amount and I'm going to continue on down entering the data that it tells me to put in there. So there are all the amount, the, the items that it says to type in there on those cells. Then I'm going to type in the, the information in B12 that it, or B2 that it says 15,000. B3 is going to be 60. B4 is going to be 5%. Then in B5, we're going to enter a function. This is going to be the payment function. So on this one, we're going to grab the rate from here, right? That's the interest rate. The N per, as we, if we use this, we can type in the equation or we can use this uh, uh, wizard function window. The N per is actually the number of periods, which is going to be 60. And then our present value is going to be 15,000. So it gives us an amount. It is actually uh, what we need to do with this interest rate. This is a 5% annual interest rate. So this interest rate specifically is not set for uh, a monthly payment, right? This is an annual payment. So since we're doing monthly, 60 months, we need to edit this right here. So my payment is, uh, my interest is going to right there in blue. We need to divide that by 12 and that'll give us the correct amount. So that's the monthly payment there for us. That's, that's set. So I can go ahead and save this now. I'll save this workbook and go ahead and upload it into Canvas for grading. Have a good day and thank you.